and welcome back to my book nook. Today I'm going to be reviewing Self-Insert Bible Fan Fiction, otherwise known as Dante's The Divine Comedy, because it is Self-Insert Bible Fan Fiction. So The Divine Comedy is a very long poem, a very long poem that is based, that is, t takes place in three acts. You have Inferno, which is probably the most well-known of the three acts of the Divine Comedy, Purgatorio, and Paradiso. And each one gets worse as the story goes on. Inferno's great. I love it. I love it. The imagery that goes on with it, the notes that um, this edition, ha edition has talking about giving more information about the historical people that um, Dante Alighieri talks about in his journey through all three stages. But Inferno has the most imagery. It's the most vividly painted. Pegatorio still has some vivid paintings, but you can definitely feel a lot more of the let's go God and we're less of a poem about these places and more of a um, proselytizing story now up to Paradiso in which, you know, it almost goes blasphemous with how much he idolizes Beatrice over God, I think. How to rate it? How to rate it? I'm going to rate it by acts because it's very difficult to rate the entire thing. Inferno, definite eight. Definite eight, maybe even an eight and a half. Purgatorio, I'm going to say six and a half. Paradiso is like a four. I finished it just because I was going to finish the whole thing. So I guess all in all it would still, it would be, all in all it would rate higher than a five. It would probably be like a six ish, I would, six -ish, I would say. I mean we got two things that are well above our six. We got a six and a half. We got an eight. We got a four. Yeah, no. So it's probably about a six and a half, seven I would state if we figured out the whole averages. But honestly in my opinion you can skip Paradiso. It's not needed. But no, I definitely will, rec I do definitely recommend if you do pick it up, find a copy that has a notes section and because it will give a lot more detail, a lot more description that honestly makes it more enjoyable of a read. I don't know if I would have enjoyed it as much without it. So, but to give you an idea when I'm talking about a note section, this portion is the poem. All three parts. This section is the note section for all three parts. But yeah, so read, the, read Inferno. Definitely read Inferno. If you enjoy Inferno and you like poetry, read pe Pegatorio. Only read Paradiso if you really have to finish it or you really love poetry. If you don't really love poetry and you don't have that drive that you have to read all three parts, skip Paradiso. The other two are just fine on their own. Alright, thank you and I'll see you next time. Bye everyone.